Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Terry Briggs. And I'm Don Johnson. Here's what's happening in your city. The wait is over at Joe Pool Lake in Grand Prairie because the word lots of people waited all summer to see has finally reappeared. Open. We lost pretty much of the summer. You know, a lot of us all paid and got us in our memberships in, ready to go for the lake, and, and we've just been waiting, 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 and, and it's, it's finally here, and so uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, first time I fired it up in a year. That was a familiar refrain at the boat ramp at Lloyd Park, which was a very busy place for the first time since before the spring floods that forced the closure of the city's lake parks back in May. It is the first boat ramp to open this summer on the lake. The Lloyd Park camping sites, swim beach, and picnic areas are also open. Oh, yeah, wings, baby. We're getting Give the wings up. ready. Been missing it for a while. Yeah, it's good to be back out here. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure all my friends, they've been waiting. So, you know, it's a good thing. Meanwhile, life is also a beach again at Lynn Creek Park with the reopening of its swim beach and picnic sites. And officials also say that the boat ramp there, which is still closed, will reopen at 6 a.m. Saturday, August 29th. From there, we've still got some facilities that are underwater. We've got some facilities that have been damaged that have to be have to be repaired or rebuilt, whatever, whatever is required to get it back up and running. So we're just making every effort to get all of our facilities 100% open just as quickly as possible. McLaughlin says the Lynn Creek Marina remains closed and there is still no boat fuel available on Joe Pool Lake. For the latest information, visit grandfundgp.org slash lakeparks or call 972-237-4120. The Grand Prairie Fire Department dive team is also getting ready for the opening of Joe Pool. On Thursday, the team hit the water for a search and recover exercise. The divers are looking for a submerged dummy about 25 feet below the surface. A buoy marks the spot where sonar sees something that looks like the dummy. Well, the hardest thing is finding uh, what we're looking for. Uh, the sonar will help us some, but it, you got to really practice with the sonar before you really know uh, what you're looking at down there. For the divers, visibility in the lake water can go from a couple of feet to pitch black. To stay safe, they work in pairs, one below while the other stays above. And radios in their dive masks keep them in contact with the boat but it still comes down to searching a foot at a time along the bottom. Is it kind of creepy, scary down there the first couple times you go down in something that dark? Uh, it can be, especially whenever it's pitch black. Today wasn't bad at all, but whenever it is dark down there, you, you can't see anything and it, your mind does play tricks with you. The dive team is hoping the public will stay safe this weekend as the lake reopens. But if they're needed, the divers are ready to help. A great night for a ride. Lots of bicycle wheels were spinning again on a refreshingly pleasant August evening as cycling with the mayor hit the neighborhood streets and park trails on the city's north side. It was the fourth time in 2015 that Mayor Ron Jensen and his wife Rebecca escorted an entourage of riders on the biking tour they started last fall to help promote the city's Get Fit GP initiative. Each cycling with the mayor route covers five to six miles and takes place in a different area of the city. The leisurely ride is open to everyone and is a fun way to encourage healthy lifestyles, new friendships, and much more. It's a good thing. It's a good thing for the neighborhood. I mean, um, I think we should all get out here and uh, have some fun and uh, uh, exercise. You get to meet neighbors that you know, or living right next door to you that you never would otherwise see. So it was very nice and very relaxing. Helps the politicians to see the awareness with the community and helps them to want to take it back to the table and continue to support the need for our trails so that we can continue to develop rides. The next Cycling with the Mayor event is scheduled for Wednesday, September 16th at 6 p.m. and will start at the Summit Active Adult Center. For more information, visit gptx.org slash getfitgp. The roasters are blazing in downtown Grand Prairie at the city's annual Hatch Chili Fest. The event is becoming a summer tradition for people who love the green and spicy export from Hatch, New Mexico. 
This year, they're making 4,000 pounds of chilies using a surefire recipe to get them just right. All we want to do is just, is just blister the skin. We don't want to really cook the pepper. Just blister the skin so that it's easy for it to come off and then they can cook it like they want to. There you go, you can pick your order up around to the right. Thank you. And it seems everybody knows exactly what they plan to do with their chilies. Well, I like to make green chili the old-fashioned way. I have a recipe from my grandpa that's 70 years old. Just straight green chili with pinos and the pork cooked all day, simmered with cumin and garlic. That's my favorite way. I am going to make a hatch chili queso for a fantasy football draft tomorrow. So I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to saute it a little bit more, make a queso, add some ground beef. It's going to be really spicy. It should be really good. We make enchiladas. We make tostadas, burritos. So we used to live in New Mexico, so we love hatch October green chili. October 17th at Central Park. Officials say the festival continues to grow each year, but there is one thing that doesn't change. The chilies are all gone within a few hours. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you can join us next time.